Hey guys, it's review day. Today I'm going to do a review on this brand called Kors RX and we are going to be reviewing this bad boy. Advanced Nail Peptide Eye Cream. So one thing I noticed about this brand, just based off of the packaging, it is quite a bit for such a low price. I found it from my Walmart. It's $33 Canadian and it comes with 25 milliliters or 0.85 fluid ounces. It's pretty decent size for an eye cream. Normally I spend 50 to 90 bucks on an eye cream and it's like this tiny little jar. A little does go a long way with this. You barely need any. I'll literally put it all around. I'll actually like extend it down to my cheeks and everything and I'll put it all the way around. And I have opinions. I have some opinions I wanna share with you guys. Okay, so first things first. This has no fragrance to it. It's not perfumed or anything, so if you're iffy and you have sensitive skin with that, this is pretty good for that. Because I know a lot of people don't like perfumes, or sometimes people are very sensitive per to perfumes, especially around the eye area. You don't really want perfumes going um, into your eye and stuff like that and causing sting stinging and redness. I do know sometimes when I put eye creams on, it'll get in like the corner, and sometimes it'll get in my eye and it'll sting, it'll turn my eyes red. I did accidentally get this in my eye and I had no reaction, which was a nice surprise. I quickly grabbed out my Q-tip, run it under water and tried getting it out. And I'm like, wait, it's not stinging though. It's not irritating me, which is nice. I do have very sensitive skin and it didn't cause any redness, um, any irritation to my skin in my eye area, which is also very nice. And I actually, I get milia. And Milia is something I really have a hard time with finding eye creams. And this did not cause any Milia on me, which is amazing. Because a lot of the times I'm trying to do research and find products that will work on my skin that doesn't cause Milia, that, that doesn't like clog up my pores. And this did not do that. So I have used this product every single morning and every single night for a full week straight with no other eye creams or anything. So I want to see what would happen if I would notice a difference within that time and I definitely did. So firstly, let's quickly go over um, just a few little things and then I'll get on to the big things I noticed. So with this, I did notice when I put it on, it absorbs very fast. It's not heavy. It's very lightweight. A little goes a long way and it works beautifully under my makeup. Um, I didn't have, and it also doesn't pill. Sometimes I'll put eye cream and like right under here, I'll see the cream starting to pill under there. It didn't do any of that and it didn't affect my makeup when I was applying my makeup um, over top of it. So it does have niacinamide. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know. And that helps with brightening and getting rid of wrinkles. It also has vitamin E, which is very nourishing for my skin. And it is also cruelty-free. Cruelty <laughs> okay, so what did I think? One, I was so happy it didn't continue, or it didn't cause any milia. That was a big thing for me, because I get so disappointed when I'm excited to try an eye cream. And I'll put it on, and I'll notice milia starting to gather together and clogging my pores. My I have huge pores, so my pores clog really fast, and I was so happy to see that this did not do that. It did help depuff my eyes, and I was surprised about how much it helped depuff my eyes, because I have a hard time sleeping sometimes. Sometimes I go to bed really late, and I'll sleep for like 12 hours at a time, and my face is like buried in my pillow for majority of my sleep. So I wake up in the morning, and my eyes are so puffy and they'll remain puffy throughout the day, and this really helped reduce that. Another thing, I am 26 years old, and I have a lot of facial expressions. I smile, and when I smile, my eyes crinkle up. So I do, what are they called, crow's feet? I do get um, very fine, tiny little wrinkles around here, and it's hard for me to get rid of those. Sometimes especially during the winter and summertime, it's more apparent and I can see it more. And this, I didn't think eye creams could actually help get rid of that. I am shocked and I don't see any of the fine lines and wrinkles there anymore. I don't have to put like primer and stuff over it to try and cover it anymore and to like, you know, fill out and smooth those lines. So I was very happy about that. 
um, I did notice that it is actually brightening. There's certain areas of my eyes. I know I do have like hereditary uh, dark circles, but I did notice my eye area was getting brighter and I was shocked that within a week I noticed these things. Again, if you have very bad dark circles, it might take longer for you to notice effects. Um, if you have deeper wrinkles, like mine were just starting to show. So of course it helped it, but if you have like deeper wrinkles and stuff like that, I'm not sure how much it's really going to help. Um, my age is 26, so it was able to help with things that were starting to appear, starting to happen. But I was very impressed at the fact that I have noticed a difference because I have bought like $70 eye creams and I'm like, is anything happening? Is Did I just waste 70 bucks for nothing? It is very hydrating. My eye area tends to dry really easily, especially since I'm constantly like rubbing um, out in the cold constantly. It's winter time, it's snowy. The wind burn in Canada is pretty bad. And I did notice it has been helping hydrate, which is very nice. So yeah, I mean, this is an eye cream I'm probably gonna wanna continue to buy. I think the price is pretty nice, especially for the size. I do like that it is a pump. Sometimes when I have jars, I have a hard time scraping out the little bits or I also feel like it's not the cleanest to stick your fingers in. I do always wash my hands before I wash my face, before I put on any cream and stuff like that. But it's still the fact that I don't like using my fingers for jars. So I do like the fact that it is a pump. So let's show the product a little bit so you guys can get an idea of the texture and what it looks like. And like I said, a little, a little goes a long way. Okay. Do you see that? Here, let's put a little bit more on so you guys can see. Oh, <laughs> that's a big boy pump. That's a big boy pump. Okay. Sorry, my hand's shaky. I don't know why. Woo. Okay. Yeah, I put too much on. I put a lot on. Do you see how it's kind of like jelly? It's got like that gel feel. Oh, my hand feels so smooth. See that? It's already starting to dry. It's already starting to dry. And then when you touch it and when you feel it, it almost has like, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's very light. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky. Like if it's on your fingers, it doesn't feel, feel sticky or tacky. It almost feels as if it's like very silky. It is like a gel form, but then, yeah, it doesn't feel tacky. It doesn't feel hard. Like it feels like there's nothing on my hand now, you know? And the fact that it feels like that, plus how hydrating it is, it's nice that it doesn't... That's probably why makeup goes on it so nicely, because it's not sticky and not tacky, and it's not like, oh, I can feel residue, you know? Like, my skin actually absorbs it. This is an eye cream I do highly recommend. I highly recommend because it worked so well for me. And I do know everyone is different with their skincare. That's why there's so many products. Sometimes an eye cream or a face wash or some sort of like skincare product will work great for me, but it doesn't work great for other people. And that's because we all have different skin types. I have very, very oily skin, but I also have dry skin sometimes, probably the fact that I don't drink enough water and I only drink like coffee and caffeine, whatever. But I find it really does help nour nourish, hydrate, and it doesn't create over oiliness because if you're like me and you have very oily skin, sometimes I'll find very oiliness, like I'm wearing glitter on my eyes, so it looks might look a little shiny oily, but it's not. I'll have like very oiliness right here and I'll see oil literally pilling up there. And when I have this, that doesn't happen. So it's really nice. I don't see that happening. It's not contributing to my oiliness. It's just nourishing. 
something I am going to buy, something I am happy. I did buy this myself. I'm going to continue to buy. It is a product I really do like, and I have a lot of other products. Or what I might start doing is um, putting it over top a retinol eye cream so that it doesn't, the retinol doesn't over dry. And that this is probably a really good product to do that with. You know what I mean? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is my Course RX Snail Eye Cream Review. At first, I also thought putting snail gunk on my face is like really weird. I kind of didn't like the idea of it. But the texture, like it's not that bad. When you get over that idea of putting like snail juices on your face and you see how well the product works, you forget about that whole like snail gunk shenanigans on your face because it does not feel gunky on my face. Does that make sense? I don't know. I think like gunky, slimy snail stuff. And then so when I was going to try this, I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if I want that on my face. But the feeling and texture wipes that whole thought out of my like out of my mind, out of my head. I do like it. Aries guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful to determine whether you wanted to buy this product or not. I really do hope so. Aries, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next week with a new review. See you next week. Bye.